I'm Pauline Rushton, I'm the Curator of Costume and Textiles at National Museums Liverpool and I work in the Decorative Art Department and look after a collection of costume textiles that cover the period from about 1700 to the present day and I look after a very big collection, it's about 20,000 items altogether. So it's a um, fantastically interesting job, I really enjoy the job, um, it means I get to do lots of interesting things like pulling together exhibitions, collections management is a big part of the job we, in terms of looking after on an everyday basis a huge collection. I also do things like answering lots of inquiries from the public, so it can be a, a wide range of, of items and, and um, activities. I'm often asked as well what are my favourite items in the collection and it's difficult to say because it's a, it's a massive collection, we have over 20,000 items altogether and you know to pick one from 20,000 would be very difficult but one of my favourites is an evening dress from about 1925 that belonged to a Liverpool doctor's wife Mrs Emily Tinney and um, there's an exhibition about Mrs Tinney on at the moment in fact A Sweet Life at Sudley House and the Tinney family were Liverpool sugar merchants so they had quite a lot of money they were millionaires in fact and the money that was coming from the sugar business went to um, pay for a huge collection of clothes owned by Mrs Tinney in the 1920s and 1930s and this particular dress I, I love this dress because it's a beautiful beaded dress it's a beaded silk crepe dress that was made in France and imported into into Liverpool we don't know unfortunately which shop she bought it in in Liverpool and these dresses were made in great numbers in, in France, probably in Paris, and then exported all over Europe, and they were a fantastically popular fashion in the mid-1920s. But the, the beauty of the dress is the weight of it and just the feel, and you can imagine how that would have felt to wear it. It would have been very swingy and would have moved with you as you wore it, so that's one of the reasons why I think this is one of my favourite dresses. Well, some of the earliest garments that we have in the collection date from the early 18th century. So we've got very interesting things like men's waistcoats from, say, the 1720s onwards. And children's things as well as a, a very interesting um, child's dress from about the 1730s. And there are also garment um, accessories like a stomacher front for a woman's dress, which dates from the 1720s to about 1740. We have a big range of material in the collection and it runs um, in date order from about 1700 to the present day. We try to represent all the periods of history during that period um, in terms of clothes and development of costume. Obviously there are gaps in that whole range of material and part of my job is to identify what the gaps are and to fill them in, in a variety of different ways. Um, one of the ways we can do that is by obviously by purchasing things on the open market, um, either at auction or from private individuals. What we sometimes are looking for are the more quirky things that were, were sometimes just offered and I'm, I made offers of gifts all the time on a regular basis every week and if one of those offers fills one of the gaps in the collection I, I, would, I would accept um, and if it doesn't obviously we have to decline. One of the questions I'm asked frequently is do I ever wear the costume and although you, you might think it's very tempting to do that. The answer is no, we, we never wear the clothes in the collection. Um, one is mainly because it would be unethical to do that, but another very good reason is that we wouldn't fit into most of them because people in the past were quite considerably smaller than we are today. So they were very petite to, to our standards, and modern people are, are much bigger than them. So no, we don't wear them, although, yes, it is very tempting sometimes. You think, what would this look like on, you know, as a kind of an idea? I'd just like to thank everyone for all their questions that they've sent in for me to answer, which were brilliant questions, very interesting. Um, if you'd like to see more about our collections, you can go along and have a look at things on display at the moment in the Craft and Design Gallery, in the Walker Art Gallery, where there's a, a nice display of 1950s dresses at the moment, which will be on for a, a, quite a long while. You can also go and see more about Mrs Tinney at the Sweet Life exhibition, which is on at Sudley House until spring of 2010. That exhibition covers um, evening day wear and um, children's wear as well and also explains a bit more about the Tinney family. Another exhibition I've just done is called Sound and Vision, Music and Fashion, um, photographed by Francesco Molina, Liverpool, 1978 to 82, and that's one at the National Conservation Centre until the end of August. That exhibition covers photographs from the period 78 to 82. So we've got great collections, we've got great variety and 
fantastic material. Come along and have a look at it on display at the moment.